Good morning, everyone. This is Doctor. Um, I was playing last night, and I had a little bit of a relevation around elemental chaining, and I really wanted to just make a quick video on it for you guys because it seems like if you're anything like me, I struggled to find a good way to reliably elemental chain without either killing a monster or having the monster move on me. And I feel like I found a really good way, and the only thing it requires is that you put a little bit of investment into Baello, um, one of the characters that pretty much everybody should have. Um, what's important, we'll go in here to Baello's skill tree. Um, this strategy involves using the ability Stone Throw, um, funnily enough. So we do need to get his um, Knight to job level five. Um, I've awakened mine to three star. It's relatively easy. Um, coming in here, you can see we unlocked his stone throw. You have to level the knight up because you have to unlock HP up level one. Um, so you get stone throw. And of course, when you're elemental chaining, if you didn't know or if you've been struggling with it, there are a couple conditions you have to make. Um, the first condition is that it has to be only abilities striking the same enemy. Um, the second condition it has to be is that it has to be the same element of ability. And the third condition is that you can't interrupt the chain with a normal attack. Um, and the monster can't move and attack while you're chaining. Now I know that probably sounds like a lot, um, and it is, barely. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I reliably do that. Now we're gonna get um, get her out of my group here. We're gonna throw Bayello in. And then you do have to have uh, Bayello's set class set as warrior for this, so I'm just gonna make sure, yep, he's got the warrior set right there. Um, and then as for your companion, this is the other part of it. Um, you have to use one of your friend companions that has stone throw. Um, for me, that's almost always going to be any unit that is earth element. Um, people are going to have their main characters sitting on their earth element characters for a long time. You might have a rare Baelo, but it's gonna be hit or miss whether he's set to uh, warrior or not um, once we're good with that you can see we kind of have a recipe for multiple stone throws here um, as long as two of these people can act on a boss usually you can get three stone throws in to get the chain to achievement um, it can be somewhat difficult sometimes depending on what type of monster you're facing or what the battle is so I'll show you my strategy here. Um, I'll usually come in and I just start clearing everything, right? So we need to clear out all the monsters and then we clear out everything except for one, right? Because the goal of this is that we are able to essentially um, just stone throw a monster on the last turn and kill them. Now, some things to keep in mind. Um, you do want all your characters close to each other. You don't want them on the other side of the map. Um, and one of the things that I've encountered that you really have to take in mind is how many, how much uh, AP you have so that you aren't using up your stone throw. So, for example, instead of using an ability here, I'm just going to attack with Baelo. Just to make sure that when we're at the end of the match, we have enough, um, we have enough, uh, ability points so that even if, uh, something happens, uh, all three of them can use stone throw. It's just like a precaution I found that is useful, <laughs> um, because I've had moments where I get to the end of a match and I have the one enemy alive and... You know, here here we are again with uh, the War of the Visions crashes. These do happen pretty often, and like I've said in my other videos, I'm just going to let them play out so that you guys get an accurate understanding of what this game is like. 
Um, essentially, the strategy is to leave one monster alive, though, triple stone throw, and get that chain two so that you can get those Alchrist rewards or any of the other essentially battle rewards that you would be wanting. Um, I have been able to elemental chain with multi-strike abilities as well. Um, those have been a little bit more complicated because they do tend to kill a monster. Um, I have uh, Ziza, who's a monk who has the Pummel ability. And Pummel is actually a two-strike attack that can self-chain with itself, essentially. So what happens is the first punch goes off and then the second punch goes off. And when you look at it, you suddenly realize like, oh, I have chain two going already. Um, all right, this actually looks like we're going to go ahead and start our chain now. Um, it just seems like we're in a good place at the moment. And I'll show you guys what to look for. Um, we're going to aim it towards this guy in the back back here. I believe I should be able to hit him. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to do the first stone throw. We'll just start killing some of these other guys here. Of course, the height is always a problem. <laughs> and notice how it's okay if there's time in between here. It's because, one, these are going to be the only characters I have attacking this monster right here. And now I'm going to do Stone Throw from Biello. And you can see up here, in the stats, it's gonna initiate a chain, and you can see, once he uses stone throw, it's gonna go to chain one. Now, for most of the missions that you're gonna encounter, you're gonna need to do chain two. So that means before that enemy can take an action, or before you can hit that enemy with another attack, you have to hit them with another stone throw or another stone ability. So you see now how it says it's a two chain up here. If I had instead attacked it with a normal attack or if I had attacked it with another elemental magic attack, it would have broken the chain and it would not have counted for a chain two. So now I've gotten my chain two. Um, we are all good so I can now complete the mission. And when I complete the mission, I should get this make an elemental chain of two or more achievement. Um, which is something that can get you a lot of Chris if you're doing it right. So we're just going to plow through here right now. Um, there is something to be said for an increased uh, damage taken when you elemental chain. I've never found that to be dire yet in the game that I'm playing, but I have found it useful. You see we got that elemental chain of two or more there. Um, I found it useful at times, but it's never been something I've actively sought out. It's always kind of been a happy accident. Um, and in terms of the pummel, when I was talking about Ziza doing pummel, I could do Ziza doing pummel and then Leonis doing paralyzing edge and that would be a chain too. So if you have units that have multi-strike as a monk, that could be an advantage to your chaining party as well. Um, I just know for me, it was easiest to get Biello leveled uh, teach him stone throw so that I can reliably just throw him in a party um, with two other mons and just stone throw to get those elemental chain achievements because they can be a pain in the ass, especially if you're trying to do the lower level missions. Anyway, just wanted to let you guys all know that. Um, I know it really helped me. Please leave a like and subscribe um, if you like that. Um, our guild information is also down below. We're recruiting for our guild. Um, we have some pretty high expectations for a guild. We have a guild discord. So if it's something you're really looking to take seriously, um, feel free to hop in and talk to me. And uh, yeah, have a great rest of your day, you guys. Look forward to a couple more videos today.